There's the ball. There's the ball. Ball's available. Moanga, Barrett, works the cross kick to Mark Talia, sits up for him and he scores for New Zealand. What a start for the All Blacks. In November last year, Mark Talia, but he's made himself an integral part of this All Black unit because of situations like this, keeps his composure, waits for the bounce under duress. It was a great kick pass from Bodie Barrett to execute it. It takes a lot under pressure to do that. What a start. New Zealand. There's the shot clock. Well inside that. Richie Moanga. Adds three points for New Zealand. Lifting energy, wasn't it? It was Francois Cross who was penalised. Chip over the top for Will Jordan. Brilliant skill from Jordan. Looking for a support runner. Doesn't find one. Good tackle from Villiers. They look for the steal now, France. Double clutch from Moanga over the top to Talia. New Zealand looking for another try. Talia has a double. From defence, turn it into attack. Line out was good. Chip in behind from Adi Savia to Will Jordan. Jordan was looking for support, made the right call. Support players there quickly. Scott Barrett with the clearance and then the double pump from Rico Ioane out to the try score and Talia will get two. McKenzie out the back, crossfield kick from Barrett to fire and look who in the air, brilliantly taken and then Havili on the wraparound, stopped on the 22. New Zealand giving it some air early and again it's the power play, a ball back and field for Cam Roygaard and in his first test start he gets a second test try. Kiwi players just kept on coming at them, missed a few tackles to the Namibians. Nice McKenzie controlled things well, even the little kick over oh, yeah. the top was absolutely precision. <laughs> Awfully close to the touchline there was Havili and then, oh, the big man just kept on coming and kept on coming and there was no defensive answer. What a moment it is for Cam Roygaard to get a try here in Rugby World Cup 2023. Damien McKenzie adds two more points, no problem with that one. It's an excellent start for New Zealand. Coached by Matthew Proudfoot, a man who's renowned for his scrum coaching. It's an area that New Zealand weren't happy with against France. And that one has got a big shove on by the Black Eight. Ball's going to spill out on New Zealand side. Roy Gunn in for a second. Just too strong for the Namibians, even though their scrum has been pretty good. The second shove came. Adi Saviani had no invitation to see where the space was. And Roy got in just too easily. <laughs> If he could have imagined his first test start starting nice like this, Cam Roygaard, player with a that it, people are very excited about. Two tries in 10 minutes. Good effort, Ake. Thank you. Hardwick does well to roll out the way. The hands are quick from Faya Nuki to Leonard Brown. And here's Jacobson down the left hand side up towards the Namibian 22. Namibia having to scramble back here as New Zealand pour forward. Whitelock. Roy Gard again for McKenzie, and there's space again for Havili. He's pressing and probing around that area. Changes in that Namibian defensive line, and speaking of pressing and probing, here's McKenzie with his footwork, stopped in his tracks. New Zealand come away again, ball out the back for Faya Nuku, and then around the corner, Laulala. Jacobson with a run to the line, cover defence is excellent from Mouton. Namibia short in the line, Whitelock almost at it. Six wide offside. No advantage, knocked on the floor, Port. back for the offside. There's a penalty offside. As New Zealand will tap and go and go quickly. Roygaard goes quickly to McKenzie, step and a weave and a jink and a try for Damian McKenzie. Just too easy. Step and a weave and a jink. And over he goes. Tunga Fassi, who made the little behind the back pass, just sensational. And then Damian McKenzie. No second invitation needed. All time again. Papali'i standing out there in the seven jersey. Ready to join the small, which they got wrong last time. They've got it right this time. Papali'i peels away for Fayan and Nuku with his pace and his power and his strength. Leicester, Fayan and Nuku. That's a really good line. <laughs> Good power, good strength. Look on 
concerned that he may not have grounded this. Oh, he's regathered well. Would come, come up short. short, but I guess his momentum will have taken him over. I don't think there's going to be any issue there. Did really well to regather it, knocked out of his hands. Regathered, slippery, wet ball. Short he comes over the line, and that's going to be a try for sure. Namibia caught offside, so Papali'i will go for Barrett. McKenzie again. Looking to get it wide to Clark, who puts a little kick on the toe. Rather, it's Avani, Leonard Avani. Brown out there on that side. He's hacked it ahead for himself as the only man chasing Anton Leonard Brown with a brilliant bit of individual skill. Standing wide on the wing, a centre up the middle, and Anton Leonard Brown scores for New Zealand. Even the bounce pass. Gathered nicely, smart little chap here, very clever, and then the little kick through again. And no one at the back there. Just too easy at the end of the day, but made easy by being really clever in the way he's gone about things. This little grubber kick here, the first bit of absolute brilliance. Then the grubber through, some good footballing skills. And no one back there. Leonard Brown gets try number five, and the All Blacks are achieving their goal nicely. So he had the audacity to say, right, I'm going to go into that little pocket and then go again without cover defence reaching him in time. Another conversion goes over. Mackenzie working his magic with that wonderful kick of his once again. Roygaard as they come away to the left, goes himself. Cam Roygaard really dangerous around the fringes, busting away, finds Mackenzie. Mackenzie's got support. He won't need them. The All Blacks break out. Cam Roygaard showed a clean pair of heels here, didn't he? Saw the space into it quickly. Not a whole lot on, actually. Mackenzie just picked a brilliant line. So it's a wonderful 9-10 connection, isn't it, with uh, Roy Gard and McKenzie. They're working so well together. Uh, the fact is that that shouldn't have happened. Alistair Kutsi, coach of Namibia, will not be a happy man because they could have literally just tried to use up the clock for the final three minutes as much as possible, but they've allowed the sluice gates, the try sluice gates to open once again. Damien McKenzie converts his own try. Replacing the two more experienced as New Zealand get a big roll on here. They've got advantage as well as they just rumble forward. Peeling off meters and now oh, the switch to the blind side for Savia and a first touch onto the field for Ethan De Groot. What an effect off the bench it came his way. Talek rising high and then the real strong leg drive, some good go forward. Penalty advantage for collapsing the mall it was. Space on the... Uh, Little blindside recognized nicely by Roy Gard, and the pass was good. Ethan De Kruert fought to keep the ball in hand. Didn't have to fight that hard to get over the line against the small winger. New Zealand have got numbers wide once more for Barrett. Skips out of one. He's got support on the outside if he needs it. Fires a lovely ball for Fayang Nuku, who stopped just six metres short of the line. Namibia having to scramble backwards once more. Here's Barrett in again, and now Barrett through the defence and straight under the posts. Dalton Papali'i for New Zealand. Domination in that scrum. It might be fresh run rows for the Mobia too, but they've been bullied into submission. Sevilla's run was just barnstorming. And then the speed of the ball presentation just doesn't allow defences to get organised, to get structured. Barrett just too good. Good, good defence here, though, to stop the big winger. And as it came back, Papali'i's line just too good. Importance of, of speed, you know, how you recycle, how you get that quick ball out. Mackenzie's not having a problem from the tee, of course, as we can see, but it's all about the, the quick recycling of the ball and getting it back out. It controlled in the back with Adi Savia. Okay, Namibia have got back now, but again, New Zealand are moving forward and they've got the penalty advantage once more. It's there for Roygaard, spinning away, stepping around one. Flat ball for Havili, soars over the line. Too easy in the end for David Havili, a tidy finish. Yeah, really, he saw the space and ran into it brilliantly. Well set up Maul as well at the back. Nice take, good load, good powerful leg drive. And look at this, in behind the defender, behind the back. Brilliant little pass. They were so well structured. They were literally like Roman centurions, the way that they were organized, moving forward as one unit. Another kick for Mackenzie. Very different type of halfback as Smith throws a nice short ball. And then 
there to help clear away Harvili from the base. There's space here for Clark. Then the spider, the kick's good. The bounce is better. The hands are excellent. Caleb Clark holds on, and he does get his try. And just executed perfectly. Look at this. Had a little look up. Made the kick. Brilliant. No answer in defence from Namibia. Looking for the pass initially. Twice he looked for the pass. And eventually just put the ball on the boot. Very clever. Nicely weighted. Good grab and score. I think it was the moment that uh, Rostov and um, uh, Lubsa came up. There was such a big gap behind. And, you know, Rich Himonga, he spots that lovely kick. Loads, acres of space behind him. Kenzie, this time the adjustment is good. Moonga just sits back this time, and now McKenzie gives it a little bit of air over on that far side, and the inside ball with Rico Ioani at all his pace, and Bellens as well. They had to bide their time, and then the injection came. Rico Ioani for New Zealand. Raw oh, pace from Ioani. The ball at the top was a good one into space, and then just look at him as he runs that inside line and explodes onto it. The step is gone early. And under the pause, he's got so much gas to burn, so much power and strength. And look at that. Oh, he is just a really classy outside now, center. Just one of the outstanding 13s. Oh, he nearly missed the kick. I thought he had two for a moment there, McKenzie. You heard the cry, he's off his feet. They've got advantage here in New Zealand for Talia. So difficult to put down in those close quarters. New Zealand playing under advantage here. Crossfield kick, Jordy Barrett into the arms of Will Jordan. Jordan for the corner, Jordan with the flying finish. He knows where the goal line is. He knows how to get over. The little kick over the top was just pinpoint accurate, throwing darts. And look at that for a dive. Oh, it's great execution. That is a sensational kick pass. And Jordan knew where the touchline was, knew he had to propel himself in the air, and does it superbly. All clear. That is absolutely brilliant. There's no doubt that's a try. Crowd don't like it. I'm not sure why not. Great score. Slides this one inside the right hand upright. At the... Taylor again. This time he finds Shannon Frizzell, and New Zealand will set the drive on. Frizzell, it's tucked under the left arm of Taylor, the hooker, six metres out. Now a few others come to lend some weight. Papali'i, Will Jordan's getting in there. It's still there with Cody Taylor. New Zealand got the momentum, piling forward over the Italian line. Try! Veteran oh, scrum yeah. off. I think, I think really well set up. Christoph the ball at the back means it's hard to compete. And as soon as they, the march yeah, was on, off. the backs came charging in. There comes no, the Will Jordan, Aaron Smith yeah, just, just sneaks in the back there. The there he is. One. He's grabbed the ball. He's gone, I'll have a piece of that. And over he goes. All clear. Thank you, Brett. Now, when you've driven them around the park for 122 tests as a halfback, you can probably sneak in and take it off the bat. Uh -huh. Similar position, slightly further in field for Richie Maunga this time. And again, straight down the middle for New Zealand. So a second converted try. Here's Savia clattering through the line into open spaces for New Zealand. Got support on the inside and outside. Barrett is there. He had Taylor looming up. Bowden Barrett spins out of one. Talia with open territory. Mark Delia, step, step through the line. Crashes over. New Zealand break out from the restart in their own 22. Laying down a marker. Oh, Sophia just with such a perfectly timed line. The angle good. Straight through, he went, he had options left and right. Look for Barrett, he maybe came inside a bit soon, but had the presence of mind to throw it wide to Tilab. Thought he was going to just put the gas down and head for the corner. Had a bit of work to do and did it brilliantly. Super finish. Great team try, great counter-attack try from the kickoff, from deep. Oh, he is electric. Richie Moonga. Just shaves it inside, so he too, perfect so far. Over 
15. It's Taylor again, it's down the back for Frizzell, quick for Savia, Adi Savia, you're never stopping him from there. Italy is not one they'll want to see on Monday at the video review. Look at this, round the corner, little step inside, all too easy. Captain extraordinaire, almost untouched. Moonga converts again. New Zealand streaking away in the first half. That is forward pack. They've got all the momentum again, and can ta Taylor with the control in the back. It's still moving forward. Now Taylor peels away. Smith step, step, and he's over again. Aaron Smith gets a second. Inching forward, just sucking in those Italian defenders. All the forwards involved, and then. Cody Taylor just realises there's a bit of space on the right. It's coming to a little bit of a standstill. And Smith, oh, he's just so nippy. Over he goes. Richie Moonga from a similar position where he's hit too. And this time again, well, they can do barely. Scott Barrett again out the back for Moonga. And then the hole for Jordy Barrett. He's got Aaron Smith up the middle. And the easiest one so far. Boy, he just, he just looked around, sucked in defenders, gave them go forward, and then Bowden Barrett ran such a good line. An easy canter in for Aaron Smith. Richie Mwanga made the spot there, realised there was a little bit of space in behind. He could get in behind the shoulders of one defender. Freed up Bowden Barrett, who freed up this man. Had trick for the little veteran scrum off. Forty-two points to three. New Zealand again will get this drive rolling. Italy splintering and scattering, piling in the black shirts. Still there for New Zealand. Close to the line. It's almost stopped now. It'll have to come out. It's got there for Adi Savia. Trying to sneak around the corner. Another advantage and another try for Adi Savia. Realised there was no one on that left-hand side, no one to defend the little peel. Peel he did. No one there to stop him. Look at this rumbling forward. And all of a sudden it came to a halt. The ball so well controlled at the back. Now Sevilla looks up, sees that there's a bit of space. Oh, no one's going to stop him that close. It's so much about the intelligence of knowing when to go. Richie Moonga to cap a near-perfect 45 minutes of rugby for the All Blacks. Four oh, charge down from New Zealand and Scott Barrett's going to get down low to scoop this up. Whitelock there in support. Here they come, Terrell Lomax onto the field as well for the Kiwis. Cam Roygaard there and Brody Retellick's over the line. Yeah, it's the, it's the substitute shoot. Uh, number nine, of course, uh, Martin uh, Pagerello, the former Toulousan. Um, great charge yeah, down, isn't it? Just makes Kaylee. it really complicated with the scrambling defense. Um, and then afterwards, you know, it's just from close range. And you won't stop that Charles man there, Brody Retallick, from scoring from that, from, that, from that distance, of course. But not a great start for the, uh, for the number nine, who's just come off the bench to replace Stephen Varney. New Zealand strikes straight back after conceding that try as they tick over 50. And, well, the goal kicking has just been superb from both Moonga and Tommaso Allen today. He adds another. There's Hami Fiver. And he's overthrown that one. Cody Taylor's just going to swoop on it. Here's Delia. Really dangerous and broken play like this. The hands are outstanding from Papa Lee. And New Zealand again punish the errors. From Italy. And New Zealand punishing. Thank you, Brett. An inaccurate Italian line out. It's a poor effort, really. Over the back, two, a free ball, and Talia just was onto it in a flash. Through he went, almost got away himself. It's a great little pick up here from Papali. No one's going to stop him from that close. And Richie Mwanga adds the two, 100% for. Richie tonight. Yeah. The highest point scorer in Rugby World Cups as New Zealand peel away again. Kane for Coles in the corner. Set move perfection once more. They bamboozled the Italian defence and the old stager Dane Coles. Keep talking about the caps. This is a highly experienced all-black side. 
experience coming to the fore. The execution just perfect. Knew where the space was. They've taken the line out good. Round the corner they came. Kane to Coles. The combination. Six. Away come New Zealand once more. Clever little flip ball from Leonard Brown to McKenzie looking to accelerate. Spin and falling over the line. He is a handful. He's, he's got great pace. He's got great, great strength. But not even he himself would expect to get through this easy against another international team. A missed tackle. Slides his way over. He's got loads of pace. McKenzie, look at this. Into the gap he goes. Garbisi with a missed tackle. It's not one the Italian defence will want to look at on Monday again. McKenzie, oh, it's perfect. Converts his own try from wide. Right. What have Italy got in these all final? Not an advantage. We head towards the final throws. They've lost the ball, and Will Jordan streaking away again. Sender and kick back and field the bounce for Adi Savia. The offload for Jordan. They've got it on a string. It's just trying so hard to make it happen, the Italians, and the error Thank coming. Thank you, Brett. Will Jordan with a little kick over the top. The ever present Adi Savia jumps up into gather and look at this for a little offload. Boy, he's been everywhere tonight, Sevier. Will Jordan, for all his work, finally gets reward. For the second time, I should say. McKenzie picks up where Richie Moonga left off. And he's caught just short. Bowden Barrett will get it in and clear away. Ioane for Coles in the opposite corner. Dane Coles on the left and Dane Coles on the right. Certainly not something they planned on or wanted. It has Ball gone two. a little awry, it's gone a Thank little pear-shaped and the scoreboard is just telling an awful story for them. Dane Coles, second little march in untouched. So much talk that Italy had closed the gap. They thought they'd made those big strides, hadn't played New Zealand. Taking all his time, Damian McKenzie making the most of it as well. Over 15. Brought down by Sam Whitelock. The All Blacks all time appearance leader now as Roy Gutt cuts a path straight up the middle, accelerating the halfback. Ball back and field. Leonard Brown, Anton Leonard Brown in support. Gets another one. Well, you said it, it's a clinic. Around the corner, the inside ball. Roy Gutt, he's got some pace, doesn't he? Off he goes. Realizes he's not going to get there. Times the inside pass brilliantly. Anton Leonard Brown runs a good line. They spin away to the right, Moonga with McKenzie. McKenzie takes them on himself. McKenzie goes over. And this time there's no doubt. Damien McKenzie has the first points. He's just causing a little hesitation in the defensive line. Two up. McKenzie there one on one inside. He stepped. It's a really good score. It's taken 20 minutes to come. The All Blacks will be happy to be on the board. McKenzie, the man who's got the trap. Richie, you know you got the shot clock all night. OK, thanks. A nice strike from Richie Moonga to convert the New Zealand try. Keep high. Keep high. New Zealand Advantage. get a bit of a shove on now and they go down again, so they'll play once more. This time it's for Geordie Barrett. Moonga, Moonga goes himself and it's Richie Moonga sliding across the line. This time Richie Moonga didn't need to make that second pass, realised he could get there himself. Over he went, all too simple, all too easy. The scrum foundation... Really good indeed, and Geordie Barrett, give him a little bit of a, a hand there. He sucked in two or three defenders, and it created the space out wide oh, for Moonga. Look at that, two defenders stop on Barrett. 
Moanga, too skilled, too classy, too fast. Pretty much exactly the same position as his first kick. Richie Moonga to convert his own try. Slides it inside the right hand upright in New Zealand this time. So it all comes unstuck again. Geordie Barrett now, McKenzie. Stands a kick ahead for himself. McKenzie with the chase. 50 22's on here. McKenzie's kept it in field quite superbly for Will Jordan. Back on the inside. What a bit of skill and class. Yeah, this is just sublime, isn't it? You know, Jordy Barrett, what he does is just suck in the defenders. They come through, the little chip through, loads of space in the back. But that, the, ac the accuracy in flinging the ball back in that way, I mean, that is just made in New Zealand, isn't it? Made in the Damien McKenzie land. Unbelievable skills. Keeping it up this time now, creeping forward New Zealand. It spills away for Roy Gard again. Just a little bit of a dummy in the evasive footwork of Cam Roygaard. Gets another World Cup try. Some really nifty footwork. Look at this. Gets away so inside, outside. Round he goes. Good handoff and Roygaard's in. Not the easiest ball to pick up, gather. Inside, steps off the left. Great individual moment. The thing is, it comes also from a little bit of a fumble at the back of the scrum as well from uh, um, from Luke uh, Jacobson, uh, Jacobson, and uh, and then it's tidied up. So that's just extra special, isn't it? Look at the footwork, look at the the movement, the strength. Brilliant score. Jordan for Fainga and Nuku, the wingers combined three meters short. And Siati can't get over it. Roygaard looks left and right and comes out to Newell Fletcher Newell with his first test try. Pressure on the defence. We got moved it quickly. Nice hands from Jordan and the big man, Estefanga and Anuka, coming at pace, just drawing in defenders and Newell with a lot to do there. Nice little step, super score one. He'll remember his first try for the All Blacks and in fine form too. Flat this time for Talkiaho, who's so strong with ball in hand. Jordan, big wide ball for Fainga and Nuku hits him on the chest. Winger to winger, and Lester Fainga Anuku scores for New Zealand. And then this is a brilliant ball over the top. Not even looking. Well, he was definitely looking, but not really looking that deep. The timing of the pass, the skill set, quick hands, long pass, difficult skill to execute, does it brilliantly, Will Jordan. I've seen him hit them pretty well so far this tournament. Not been down the middle tonight. But that is. <laughs> Taukiaho once more, fourth or fifth time in the move. It pops the ball. Newell almost in for a second, just short. Now they can go through the hands for Damian McKenzie to crash over the line. Just almost unstoppable as the All Blacks built momentum, went through the phases until eventually... McKenzie had this little opportunity. One on one, space on the inside, diving over. Boy, he's been good tonight. Yep. Great Ricky. kick from Moonga. He's got those boots on now, Ricky. <laughs> A bit more stability this time. Now New Zealand get that way on in the move forward. Jacobson controls it in the back. Christy McKenzie, the hands are quick, the hands are slick. And who else in the corner? Will Jordan jot down another one. This is beautiful slick handling. Barrett, quick hands coming around the corner. Jordan's in too easily. Watch them go. The timing is everything. The setup is good. The timing is excellent. And the hands just beautiful. Oh, it is poetry in motion from the slick handling perspective. McKenzie can barely put a foot wrong in this match and he converts from wide. And Palki Aho skips and then spins out of another. The ball and the tempo they are controlling and it is all coming at pace now. New Zealand again piling forward. The ball for Fainga Anuku. And Lester Fainga Anuku in the corner. Started with Damien McKenzie. Realised the hands were on. Three on two on the outside. The hands just absolutely perfectly timed. Simple, efficient. Wonderful to watch. Everyone pretty straight. 
timing that pass to perfection, and then he goes in the corner. McKenzie from wide as it just swings back. Another superb conversion at an acute angle, cribbing towards the line. Vai line, line, line! It's going in close here for Tamaiti Williams, bearing himself in. Tamaiti Williams. In history. Comes around the fringe here, big, strong, powerful leg drive. The hard work done. Goes about a metre, good carry, good score. Another great bit of play from Leicester Fahinga Anuka in the, in the midfield. Tidied up once or twice, ran a good line. Got them close. Bowden Barrett taking over the kicking duties. And scoring his first points of Rugby World Cup 2023. Kane, McKenzie, space wide for Williams roaming and Tolkiaho, the front rowers. Just stop. Some more scrambling defence by Nuku gets a hat trick. Jordan with a carry. It's just, it's just all about the way they move the ball around. Damien McKenzie with the long pass into the space. A couple of strong forward carries and then for Nuku from a couple of metres out. Said at the start of the game, he's, he'd love to sniff out a couple of tries. Well, he's got three. Bowden Barrett from a similar position. Again, the easy motion adds another two points to New Zealand's total, which goes out to 73 points to nil. First points to the All Blacks in the quarterfinal. 49 and a half metres out. He's given it a huge reef. That's Jordy Barrett. And New Zealand have their second penalty of the quarterfinal. They lead Ireland 6-0. Both yeah. Irish wingers back. The 50-22 is not on, but the chip and chase might be. And Bowden Barrett's there, and he regathers, hit hard by James Lowe. Still on for the All Blacks. Here's Jordy Barrett. Leicester find Anuku. And New Zealand are in. Barrett with the opportunity to chip and chase saw the space and the way he commits it is he knows he's going to cop a shot from James Lowe, totally legal and then the All Blacks quick ball shifted, Geordie Barrett with the straight and timing of the pass is brilliant, here's the find the who stays in support, New Zealand get it started Well they get it started and they also win the first 20 minutes of this game well and truly don't they Moana from wide out. Sam Kane puts the head down. Kane almost no, there. No, 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 you're off your feet. Off your feet. <laughs> Smith advantage to Scott Barrett. Outside. Advantage New Zealand. Outside. They've got a free hit advantage. here. Will Jordan. Rico Ioani. Adi Savaya. The birthday boy. We'll be very happy with. Here they are. Sam Kane with a low leg drive. Got some help by Shannon Frizzell, and then look at this. Try's good. Pass, pass, yeah. nothing wrong with that. All good. I've had some. Maybe somewhat stronger at half time. <laughs> oh, we talked about the importance yeah. of the start and the, the importance of the All Blacks. Put Point up. of the bench is going to be so Thank impactful you. when the coach decide to use it. Finley Bealham. And Richie Moanga for New Zealand. He's got Will Jordan with him. Will Jordan! Try New Zealand! Look at this from Richie Moonga. The way he just eats up space, he uses the ball to freeze the defence and he goes straight hard at James Lowe who was waiting for the defence to come across the jockey but they come too late. Will Jordan is an absolutely pure try scorer. Aaron Smith back off the Simbin and New Zealand go to work with the attacking game. Look at the way he just uses the ball there to get Van der Flair flat-footed. Richie Moonga. When he needed the most, the All Blacks, he has stepped up in an important time. Geordie Barrett. Brilliant kick from the sideline. Geordie Barrett. That one sails through. Artie Sarveya's there. Sarveya try scorer last week. Shannon Frizzell to Whitelock, out the back to Geordie Barrett, long ball over the top to guess who? 
Will Jordan, who just cannot stop scoring tries for the All Blacks. They went a couple of times and phased through the forwards after Aaron Smith took the initial hit up. And here's the overcall. Back ball, Jordy Barrick, back ball, Richie Monga, money ball. Out to Will Jordan. Unbelievable record. Will Jordan has in test matches. That's his 29th try. His... Richie Moana. Adds the extra two. New Zealand come away with maximum points. Advantage is over now. Advantage over for New Zealand, so... Need to keep the ball here if they want something out of it. Nice quick hands to Moanga. Jordan. Jordy Barrett. And New Zealand have their second try. Yeah, Jordy Barrett in that uh, number 12 jersey. He's been there for just over a year now, and his brother Bowden was asked about it during the week about where he sees uh, the best position. Match official Ben Whitehouse. Richie Moanga from right in front. Has a penalty. New Zealand 15 lead Argentina 6 just before half time. Mark Talia skips away from one. Oh, look at his feet. Brilliant. Brilliant. Mark Talia still going. A meter out. Aaron Smith, they've got huge numbers. And Shannon Frizzell will dot it down for the All Blacks. This is the one for Mark Talia. Holy fast footwork. Look at him bust through. Just so strong. And then from here, the ball is just so quick. The numbers are loaded to the left hand side. Easy try. A walk in. Keep high. And the All Blacks edge forward again. And Looking for a decision. There it is. Now they play Aaron Smith, the dummy. Aaron Smith still going. And he scores. The scrum and platform was brilliant. Adi Sabir picks it up after their penalty advantage. Gives it out to Aerosmith with the left foot step. Then the little decoy and the dummy. I'll oh, go get you some, Nuggy. Well, he and Bowden Barrett are off to the Toyota Verbitz Club in Japan after this Rugby World Cup. He wants to play in a black shirt in the final, no less, for another week. Aaron Smith, what? Moanga has hit it well, and the flags are up. Frizzell, quick hands, Jordy Barrett, Lomax, Tyrell Lomax. Los Pumas defence working so hard, but the All Blacks prevail Easy once up. again. Easy now. Just the speed, the power, the skill set. This has been too much for the Pumas in the semi-final. The movement of ball as well. And also uh, in the 18 jersey, getting ready to come on as well. Bello will be on the field. Moana with the conversion. Comrade Smith looking on. 145 kilograms. Here's Damian McKenzie over the top to Mark Talia. Scored two tries on opening night against France. Tackle release, boys, on the line. Christie, Will Jordan. <laughs> With his wife, Rochelle. Here's a nice tip on from Frizzell to Tamaiti Williams. He gets to the five. Look at those numbers available for the All Blacks. Tamaiti Williams, he really has stepped up too. Made a real impact when he comes on to the bench. The easiest of passes there for Finlay Christie to Jordan. Stay there. Yeah, much is not on it. Whoa. Inside ball to Will Jordan. Look at him go. He's going to kick for Jordy Barrett, but it might work out for himself. Oh, look at that. That's the pick of the bunch from the All Blacks tonight. That's your job. But he likes hanging around this first five spot. There's the hold that he likes to dominate. See the way he holds the ball in two hand to slide through with the speed and then the chip and chase to finish. Perfect bounce. That is elite. Well, the crowd here enjoyed it as well. Almost 80,000 people here at Stade de France uh, to see this semi-final between New Zealand and Argentina. Well, the way he looks over his shoulder there. 
Jordy Barrett. Richie Mwanga gets the All Blacks on the board in the World Cup final. Mwanga adds three points for the All Blacks. They narrow the gap to six. Mwanga. Jordy Barrett, huge pass over the top to Mark Talia, who gets away from one and another. Mark Talia. Bowden Barrett dives in for the All Blacks. And New Zealand do get their try. Takes their ball from Jordy Barrett over the top, the left foot step, the right hand fin, the ball through contact, goes backwards. Bowden Barrett picks the ball up and finishes. There's the ball, that goes backward, that's fine. This pass from Talia, is it okay? Whoa. Well, Wayne Barnes said it went backwards initially and then bounced forward.